Hello and welcome back to Tanya's Beauty Box. I am Tanya and today I thought that I would share with you my primers. Now I have a drawer full of primers and they all do something different but along the same lines of what I like in a primer is something that um, goes all over, of course all over the face but leaves some type of hydration. I kind of like the silicone primers um, versus the ones that come out more like a moisturizer. I feel like it's something that spreads on the face and leaves behind a nice soft velvety touch. Although I do have one particular primer that I absolutely love that is more like a moisturizer and it's affordable. You get it from the drugstore or from Ulta and um, I really enjoy that particular one. But I thought I would go ahead and show you some of the primers that I have and um, just share with you what my thoughts are about them. Um, so this is my drawer of primers. I believe this is everything, oops, everything that I have. And since that one wanted to jump out, we'll start with it. This is the primer from the lip bar. And this is the Skin Set Primer. It's a ready, set, prime, lock in your look with our Skin Smoothing Rose Water Primer designed to minimize the appearance of pores and nourish the skin with soothing rose water. Now, I don't particularly like this particular primer. I don't know what it is. It feels good going on, but it's like it disappears. Um once you rub it in. So it's like you didn't put anything on. Um, maybe that's the way they wanted it to be. But and then it, it, it gets, I don't, it doesn't have an unpleasant scent or anything, but it, it, it's kind of drying or something. And I don't particularly care um, for this particular primer. So what I thought I would do is maybe in the cheek area here, I would put this primer there and then put a different, more hydrating primer all over my face. So that is the Lip Bars Primer. I enjoy um, all my other Lip Bar um, products. It's just this primer is not for me. Next, I received this in a boxy charm. This is the Element Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. You have to shake it up. It leaves a glow on the skin. I'll show you. So this is where I put the primer. It's like I put nothing there. It feels dry. I don't know. Let's move on. Um, and it comes in, a, of course, a squeezy little bottle here. And it has kombucha glow and moisturizer on it. It's like a champagne color. Champagne gold color. And it is that moisturizer consistency. It feels good and hydrating and it leads back. And I do have normal to dry skin and I get hormonal acne. This actually has a light fragrant floral scent. And it feels like something is there. Not that it feels heavy, but it feels like you put something on your skin that's going to help aid in your uh, foundation uh, adhering to your skin. So this is from Elemis. Um, I believe this is in the 30, the 30 to mid $30 range, like 35, probably no more than that. So I enjoyed that particular primer. Then we have from Ciate London, this is the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. So you know I like this. It doesn't it has a pump. It doesn't particularly smell like watermelon. It has a slight watermelon scent and it has these little beads in it that burst. <laughs> and it feels hydrating. So as you can tell, I prefer a um I can feel the moisture, I can feel the hydration, and it makes the skin feel so good, not dry and 
and um, parched. And it smells wonderful. So this is from Ciate London. This is the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I like that. Next we have from No Problem, a priming essence. Okay. It's from Touch and Soul. No pro problem priming essence. So it has calendula flower extract in it. And it has like a, a um it reminds you of a dropper and see how it's just coming out by itself. This one feels good smoothing on. Again, it's lightweight and it gives your skin that slip. You it feels like you actually put something on that's gonna aid in your um prime aid in your found foundation um adhering to the skin and looking useful and healthy. I like a healthy glow to my skin when I put on foundation. The foundation I have on right now is from Clinique. And it is the Chubby, Ch Clinique's Chubby Stick. And I use this primer that I also received from BoxyCharm. This is the Pretty Filter Primer Icy Sherbet. And it is a lovely like silicone situation. Nice floral scent. And I really like it. It didn't make my skin feel taut or tight or dry or any of that. Now, my favorite primer is going to be from Maybelline. It's the Master Prime. Primer Base Hydrate and Smooth. So, of course, you get this from the drugstore. Ulta, Amazon, and this, although I prefer like the clear silicone situation, this feels so good and it works so great on your skin underneath your prime, underneath your foundation. It gives you high lasting hydration, nice light scent, almost no scent at all. And it visibly smooths prime skin with hydration. It's a lightweight formula and it doesn't clog your pores. So if you are normal to dry, this would be a great primer. I really like it. Like it so much, I have two. This is the backup. <laughs> then we have something I just got from a boxy charm. This is the Fenty Beauty. Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Okay. And I I like this one as well. Um, it has that moisturizer situation going on. And even it has a little bit of hydration to it. I know they have a hydrating primer. And I think I'll check that out. But it leaves your skin feeling smooth and supple and 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 Air, airbrush like filtered so when you smooth on the foundation it just glides and that's what I like it just glides on it makes your face feel so good next again from Touch and Soul I have the No Pro Problem Primer now I don't have a pore issue but this primer feels great on the skin it just it's a little thicker, it's like a gel cream situation. And you just rub it in and rub it in. And I thought that it be this would be similar to this one, but it's not. This doesn't leave, it has a similar feel as this, but it doesn't leave it feeling dry. I think that's the issue. This leaves my skin feeling dry and because I have normal to dry skin, that doesn't make me, it doesn't feel good on the skin. So this is definitely, if I had the receipt, I would take it back. But this one, even though they have a similar properties as far as um, the feel of it, the consistency, 
this doesn't leave me feeling dry and it does hide pores. Not that that's an issue for me, but whatever pores I do have, it tends to blur them out. Next, we have from Ola Hendrickson, the Banana Bright Face Primer. A vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigments. And it is um, for to wear alone, under makeup, or on top of makeup as a highlight. I like this too. So let's take a... And that has like a slight tint to it. But they say you can like wear it on top of your makeup. Now in between this, I am wiping my hands down with this makeup eraser that has some... Um, I sprayed it with some micellar water. So it's helping to remove, so I'm not like just building primer on top of primer. But this feels good, and it has a nice citrusy scent. It does not smell like banana. It just feels really good. Okay, I like this. I think this is about $32. This is a full size, and I got this from Ooh, Ipsy or Boxy Charm, I can't remember. Okay, this is from It Cosmetics, it's Feel the Moment Skin Rejuvenating Hydrating Primer Serum. So you see where I'm kind of going with this. I have a lot of primers. The majority of them lean to hydrating because of my dry skin. This is also a serum, so it has some skin enhancing good for you properties. Oh, that feels so good. It's so silky and smooth. It has a spa-like scent and gives the skin a nice glow. Look at that. Be happy to put some foundation on top of that. It just because it, it also helps it glide and move, and you won't need that much foundation. Next, we have from Too Faced the Hangover Primer. Okay, this came in a, mm, this came in Ipsy. This came in an Ipsy. This is a choice product. This has more of that um, moisturizer situation to it. And there you go. So it's like rubbing in a lotion. And it does hydrate. And I do, of course, by now, you know, I like that, that it hydrates and makes the skin feel smooth and moisturized. It makes it feel alive. And that has barely a scent to it. Let's see what else we have in here. I might not get through everything because I don't want to make a very, very long video. But I'm just kind of at this point picking and choosing the ones that I really, really, really like. And look, that... um. Even after wiping it down, this particular It Cosmetics one, yeah, it's still there. You can still see a glow. Um, here's another hydrating one, and it's counterpart. So this is these are both from Benefit, the professional. This is the original, so this will be good for oily combination skin, and this is the hydrating one. So I'll put them on next to each other. So this is the hydrating one. Okay. And we'll rub that in right here. So it's similar to the regular one, to the original, but it has some hydration to it. And we'll put that down a little further so we can see the difference. You can feel the difference as well as you rub it in. This one is more blurring. This is for hydration. This is to fill in those pores. This is going to fill in your pores but leave you hydrated as well. So I like those. I like this one over the original pore professional. So the hydrating one is great. And I got both of these um, from... This is a great one. This is from Clinique. This is the Super Primer. And it 
is running more of that um, moisturizer kind, but it feels so good on. So good on. Look at that. Nice light scent. Be happy to spread any kind of foundation, powder, um, chubby stick, which is a stick foundation, um, liquid cream, any kind of primer. I want to show you this. I'm not sure if they still make this, but this is when um, people were using a lot of glowy, um, like using a primer that has a glow to it. So that's what this is. And this is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier um, Afterglow Primer and Luminizer. So I like this for when I want to have a glow under the skin. I mean on top of the skin, but underneath the makeup. So it's going to put you in the mind of elements where it's going to leave a little bit of a glow. But it's so subtle and it's not shimmer. It's not necessarily pearlized either, but it's just enough to come from behind the foundation and um, look natural and light and glowy and wonderful. Let's see what else we have here. We have, what is this? This is a vitamin C primer from Kismet. I haven't used it, so. Let's see what it does. I've never used it, so. It has some iridescence in it or something. Let's see here. Oh, that's cool. I like that from Kismet. So this is one that I can't vouch for. This is my first time using it and I'm using it on my hand. But I like the way it spreads and it doesn't feel tacky and it doesn't feel drying so that's good what else we have in here the Lorac professional perfection so this is silicone this is like that silicone base that you would get from um, Smashbox so this is a true silicone primer so it's going to do a lot of blurring it has a wonderful scent to it too I'm not sure if people still checking for the rock or what. What else do we have? So this is still sealed, but this is um, the Smashbox primer, but it puts you in mind of this little rock professional. Okay. I have a primer water that I, um, this is from Smashbox as well, the, their primer water. I don't see people using this much anymore. Where's a little spigot? So we'll just spray some. The sprayer is actually a nice mister on there. And I'm just going to rub that in. So maybe that would be something I could use with this primer that's very drying. Maybe use this and then spray the primer water on top of it. But you shouldn't have to go through all of that. Um, what else do we have in here? I have Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer, which is the same. It's just a silicone situation. So these three would be the same. They might have different formulations, but they all come out um, with, um, if you take a peek, that silicone clear gel situation. Then, from Wanda Beauty, we have the Glow Ahead Illuminating Facial Oil, and it has that same, like, um, dropper that you might think of as, a, um, I don't think I've ever used this either. Nope, it's pink. That's pinky pinky. Oh, that feels good. And smells good, too. I might start using that on my face for primer. I like that. That's nice. 
Um, can't speak to it. It's the first time using it, but it doesn't feel dry. It feels nice and hydrating on my hand. I have a few left, but we're at 20 minutes now. So I'm just going to show you the primers that I have. I have the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich. Okay. The Illamasqua Hydra Veil. It comes with a little spoony spatula. And it's like this. It's like some kind of like gelatin jelly situation in there. I've never used it. I have from Peach and Lily the glass skin. Oh, that's not it. That's not a primer. Oops. Um, here's a luminizing primer from Dr. Brandt. I don't particularly care for this. Even though it's a luminizer, it has um, I think it had like sparkle or something in it. Or it left me looking kind of pasty, no sparkle. So I don't know why I have been using that. It doesn't have a scent, so maybe I need to start using that. And we have from Cover Effects a blurring primer that'll put you in the mind of the professional, similar in consistency and tone. From YSL, I have the Touche Claw Blur Primer. Never used it, but that's the one that has the gold particles in it. Okay. I don't know why I'm saving that. I have from Maybelline a Master Prime Blurring. Um, and this has SPF in it, and it's to blur and illuminate. Now, they've reformulated their primers or something, so I don't even know if they still sell these like this anymore. But I like this one because it has a built-in uh, SPF of 30. And let's see what else is in here. I think that's it. So those are all my primers. Oh, and I have a, I haven't tried this, but this is the It Cosmetics um, Primer Oil Free Makeup Gripping Base Pore Refiner and Hydrator. So I haven't tried this yet. But those are all my primers. If I had to say which were my favorites, it would be um. And where did my, it's a favorite, but I'm scared to use it because um, I don't know if they still make this anymore. It has that underglow. So these would be my favorite primers to use. The Port No Problem one. These Clinique, of course the Master Prime, and the Sephora one. So those are my favorites out of everything that I have that I'm looking at. Yep, those are my favorites. And then, disbarring having those. This will be my second set of favorites. Okay. So the first that I so told you I would get again, and I do, I did purchase a backup of this in the um, add-ons for April for Boxy Charm. So I got this coming and a little um, sidekick. It has like a little pin. I guess that's for your under eye. And yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for sitting through this video. I do appreciate it. Um, I would appreciate it if you liked, comment, and subscribed. If you have not yet subscribed, I do giveaways on this channel. One will be coming up uh, fairly soon. I just had one in March that I just did. So, yeah, I appreciate you so much, and I look forward to having another video up for you to watch at your leisure as soon as possible. So stay whimsical and let your inner whimsy shine. Bye.